Okay, this isn't going to be the prettiest, but what I've determined was I've put together the F550 um, flame wheel, which is the latest as far as, here you go, um, the ARF. This has an E300. The issue I'm finding, obviously, is on all the, uh, excuse me, <laughs> all the things you find on the internet, it, it has a small disc for a, I guess really a power distribution board. Well, the F550 comes with its own, of course, and you can see that they're set in here. So here's the, uh, the E300. It's pretty bad. But anyway, E300. And the ends now are like this. And it's not two separate wires. The ground is actually a, a second wire. It's woven around the red wire. Um, so obviously the red is your plus and that's the negative. The problem is, is on the small disc they give you, it's fine, but they don't give you a disc when you buy the 550 or the, like probably even the 450, but in the extra propulsion kit, they give you a little disc for power distribution. So the problem you see here is, you know, obviously this is not gonna fit. And once you start to strip that wire out, um, it uh, basically starts to look like this. So this is with the black stripped off and you can see you have a little tab there. And the issue with this stuff really I see at this point is, is once you start to cut it to pull it back some to get the distance across, um, it falls apart. So it's not a woven piece of metal from one end to the other that's woven together. It's probably like done in short I would say three quarter, maybe one inch sections, because once you get past a half an inch, it'll just fall off when you're trying to split it open with a, you know, a, a fine razor blade like this, you know, being very gentle. So I kind of come to the conclusion that I stripped the black off because I wanted to, I'm still leaving several inches though. Um, they're quite long. Um, and then what I do after that is, is I get it down to the point like you see here where you twist it and then I got it tinned on both ends now. And what I plan on doing is hooking it up at this point like this, this pad, and then bowing the red wire around so to make my power connection is kind of like that. Um, and then I'm gonna hot glue them down, I guess. Uh, the wire I'm stripping off is, I don't know, five inches or so, but uh, four inches maybe I'm taking off of these. So, and then like I said, when I leave it with the four inches, hooking it up with the motor, it's still got a couple inches of space, so there'll be plenty of room to play with it. So I'm sure there's quite a bit of weight I'm taking off. Haven't measured it. All right, that's just the tip at this point. Everything else should be the same as all the other videos you see.